Hi, I'm Dan with Beyond the Bedroom, and we're here with Don Beck today, who's one of our presenters uh, for this year again. She's presented uh, an all two years so far, and will be again this year. Uh, so Don, tell me a little bit about yourself, and tell the audience a little bit about yourself. So um, I'm a certified tantric educator through Source School of Tantra. Um, I've been practicing tantra as an educator for about 12 years. Um, I have a company here in Boulder, Colorado, with my beloved called Tantric Sacred Journeys. Your beloved's called Tantric Sacred Journeys? No, my beloved is Gerard. Oh, okay. Just, just <laughs> the, making sure we're clear on that. <laughs> the company is called Tantric Sacred Journeys. That's and, probably a beloved of yours, too. Well, yes, it's my, it's my other beloved. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and we offer private sessions for individuals and couples. And we also offer workshops for couples, for singles. Um, I offer women's workshops, and we offer both private sessions and um, and workshops based on tantric principles and practices, sacred sexuality, um, awakening and enlivening our bodies and our minds, our spirits, our hearts, and our sexual sexual centers. Great. You have a class called. Female ejaculation, healing. Female ejaculation, honoring the flow, honoring the flow. of Amrita. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that class. Yeah. So female ejaculation, honoring the flow of Amrita, is a an exploration into Amrita, which is female ejaculation, and it's a Sanskrit word meaning divine nectar. So we'll be talking about and exploring where. Amrita, female ejaculation, comes from how, as a woman, we can invite without force, without pressure, without making anything happen, how we can invite this beautiful goddess energy to flow through us in the form of our female ejaculate. Um, That's really important, too, I think, uh, a good point, because a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to make her squirt. Right. So first of all, you don't make her do anything. Right. You, you're, you're helping to facilitate her. She's the one who can do it. And, and a lot of people, including our medical society, think that only a few people mm. can actually do this. Yeah. And that's really, in my experience, quite the opposite. It's more that there's a few people who can't do it for physiological reasons, and there's a handful of people that can't do it for psychological reasons, yeah. but then the rest can do it, they just don't know how. Exactly, exactly. I believe that every single woman has the, um, has the potential for inviting this beautiful flow of energy. And um, physiologically, you know, there's lots of different information, lots of different statistics, lots of different um, research that has been done about where physiologically Amrita comes from. What Judith and I will be talking about is And by Judith, she means Judith, Judith Davis, who's going to be co-facilitating this class. Exactly. And so um, what, we'll be, what we'll be focusing on, rather than the physiological ways that a woman can express her Amrita, what are the emotional and the psychological and the energetic ways that we can invite this? Um, from a tantric perspective, uh, Amrita like you mentioned, Dan, can't be forced, it can't be coerced, it can't be made to happen, but it can be invited to be celebrated. And very often what I find with a lot of women who I've worked with is that more often than not, it's not a physiological issue, it's a psychological block. It's something that has happened in a woman's history, whether it's a past relationship or some kind of sexual abuse or some kind of um, not knowing that it's a safe place to explore, a, a, a safe experience to have. Either they've been told that, that they've urinated and so they've been embarrassed into not expressing their Amrita, or a lot of women just don't know that it's even possible. Yeah. And so to create a safe space for women to feel their ability to invite their own female ejaculate is what we'll be talking about. And for women who have not experienced the flow of their Amrita, this is not a place to make anyone feel guilty or pressured about not being enough. 
because they haven't experienced it. Mm -hmm. It's about let's talk about this. Let's find let's the help ways. Them open up yeah, 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 and let's find let's discuss the ways that that they can be supported in inviting this beautiful flow. Mm -hmm. And what does this flow feel like? And how can a woman cultivate her own sensuality and her own sexuality so she's not handing that over to someone, you make me do this. Mm -hmm. And for men to know that it's not about making, as you said, making a woman do this, but actually holding a space for her right. to, to be available for herself. And it doesn't mean, I, I've heard a lot of guys come out and say, oh, I, I want to learn how to do this, so I'll be a great lover. It's mm -hmm. like, that, that doesn't make you mm -hmm. a great lover. Mm -mm. Well, it means you know a certain technique. Yeah. A, a better way to be a, a great lover is to really be involved with your partner mm -hmm. in a way that's honoring and respectful and it can help facilitate this. Yeah. So now, tell me a little bit about your experiences with it. I mean, have you always ejaculated yourself? I haven't. I haven't. Uh, my first my first experience with my female ejaculate was um, with a with a boyfriend um, when I was younger, um, probably in my twenties. I had a a small amount of amrita that was shocking to me. That I had no I had no idea what it was. Not knowing anything about tantra, not knowing anything about amrita, I had an experience with a boyfriend where I there was. A, a, a larger amount of vaginal fluid, l larger amount of fluid than just vaginal lubrication. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what it was, but liked the feeling. No, I wasn't. I, I was actually with someone who was very appreciative. Oh, nice. And even though he didn't know what it was either, he was really appreciative and really, um, really honoring of, of, of the expression of it. He just thought I was really turned on. Yeah. He didn't know what it was. He didn't know what he had done. And then I kind of forgot about it for many years until mm. I started studying Tantra and started learning about Amrita and, and went back to that experience and thought, that's what that was. That's what that experience was. And I want more of that. Mm. So I started doing some Tantra practices with Gerard around how can I recultivate this and mm -hmm. open and awaken my body to be more consistently available to the flow of my Amrita and through internal sacred spot massage, through releasing some stuck energy in my yoni, my mm -hmm. sexual center, my sacred space, I was able to start gradually opening to being able to invite her to flow really whenever I desire. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a it's a combination. Sometimes it's directly connected with an orgasm, either a clitoral or a vaginal orgasm, and sometimes it's watching a beautiful sunset or smelling a beautiful rose hmm. or just being in the energy of feminine goddessness and just enjoying that energy and feeling that flow through me. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about your past experiences with Beyond the Bedroom. Mm -hmm. This is our third year that mm -hmm. we're going to be doing it. You were mm -hmm. there at year one and yeah. year two yeah. and uh, year three where we've got so many fun things that are coming, mm -hmm. going to happen. So mm -hmm. uh, just want to tell or hear a little bit about your experiences. Yeah, so it's just been an amazing experience um, the, the past two years. Um, it's such an opportunity. Um, what I found is I I, yes, I did some presentations both years, but, and also I learned so much by going to other people's presentations. I think it's an incredible opportunity to be in, in the energy of like-minded people, of people who are wanting to be open, communicative, and educated, and educated, educated by, and educational for everything having to do with sex and sexuality and it's such it felt like a very warm open loving group of people all the mm. presenters and all the people that uh, that came to to be on the bedroom as as participants um, a beautiful way to step into having sexuality be honored having sexuality be talked about taking sexuality 
out of the bedroom mm -hmm. and into our lives. Yes, sexuality is for the bedroom, but it's for every part of our lives. And so I, I am so proud and so appreciative of you to, mm. to bringing, you. yeah, bringing this to, to the Denver area, to mm. really, and beyond, you mm. know, wherever else, Orlando and Chicago, wherever else you're doing this, to, to really open people's eyes to, to sexuality, to being able to talk about sex openly, mm -hmm. authentically, honestly, for people to be able to share in each and every one of these presentations where there are challenges, where there's discomfort, and where there's comfort and desire for more communication and more openness around sexuality. And my experience both years has been everyone there saying yes to let's be more open, let's, let's take sexuality out of the closet mm -hmm. and let's bring it into open communication. And it's been fun, playful, educational, um, just really a beautiful, great weekend. Great. Well, thank you for that. And just to be clear, by open, she's not talking about open relationships, although that's we don't have any judgments around that either. Yeah. Uh, it's really opening up the mind to yeah. what's available yeah. out there. And, and yeah. we do have relationship classes as well. So there's a number of different things, um, not just sexuality, too. I know Dawn focuses on sexuality because that's, that's her I special like niche. <laughs> So. Well, and even in the sexuality piece, I do focus on sexuality, but in my tantric work, it's not only about sex. It's about right. healing, it's about awakening, it's about communication, mm -hmm. it's about being honest, authentic, and real in all aspects of our heart, mind, body, spirit, inclusive of our sexuality. Cool. Well, do you have any last tidbits you want to leave with our viewers? I just really invite each and every one of you to, to come to Beyond the Bedroom, to come to my presentation, to Judith and my presentation, and also to explore in a really safe and sacred environment, a place where you will feel safe, where you will feel honored, where you won't be, you won't, you may be asked to look at some of your edges around sexuality, which why not? You know, let's learn and let's grow together, but know that you will be respected, you will be honored, you won't be asked to do anything that you don't want to do, and there's so many different options and opportunities throughout the weekend to, to learn and to grow and to be in a community of people who are really wanting to bring health, well-being, and authentic mind-opening, heart-opening energy to our sexuality. Great. So come and see us. Yeah, come see us all. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, Don. I appreciate it. You're welcome.